Friday, February the 4th. As we speak, gunfire is heard all over Thai Cambodian border. How serious is it? Well, it's slightly serious because this time they use artillery, mm -hmm. exchange artillery across mm -hmm. the border. Mm -hmm. It just happened about 3 o'clock mm -hmm. this afternoon, mm -hmm. somewhere around the Pravigya Temple. You can mm -hmm. see that uh, this is this two area in the adjacent to the Pravigya mm -hmm. or Pravihan mm -hmm. uh, National Park is in, in Thai. Yep. Um, there is a uh, groups of the Cambodian troops stationed around here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it is it is unclear that who will first find who find the first shot. Well Thai said still, it is yeah. Cambodia fight first and <laughs> Cambodia also <laughs> says Thai also fight first because uh -huh. they are making road in the dispute area. So yeah. that's why the Cambodia is fight to Thai troops mm -hmm. there. But it will happen. This time it's like uh, different from the two previous times in uh, year two thousand eight and nine. Yeah. This time it's small gun. Mm -hmm. uh, this time they use artillery. That's uh, a lot of well, my relatives in there saying that <laughs> uh, at least eighteen shells land uh, wow. nearby their oh. village today. So, today, uh -huh. just this is close thousand. to the temple. That but the uh, temple. Is it to, oh, it's only because we get this village around here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We can say that at least four or five village mm -hmm. around here, just a five kilometer away. One uh -huh. is a closest is Pum Salon province, a yeah. uh, uh, village is somewhere three kilometers from the province here. And another is nearby, which on the road uh, along the, the border line. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why right. there's a lot of people mm -hmm. living there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They are living fear now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what is the most worrisome is the reported arrest of five Thai troops. From by by Cambodian soldiers, mm -hmm. and the army has also confirmed that five Thai soldiers have been mm -hmm. under control. In, in the words of a uh, uh, colonel, Sanson, uh -huh. he said they were not arrested, but they were under control <laughs> or in in custody of the Cambodians. Uh -huh. I don't know what the difference that is, but uh, that's mm -hmm. what he said. He confirmed that five Thai troops have been arrested, have, have been in the hands of. Yeah, it's the thing is it can happen because uh, actually we have warned earlier that if you put truth close together, yeah, it slightly could happen. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe somebody will fight by accident, it could be happen. The other will be misunderstood what will happen. So the fight mm -hmm. is uh, it's erupted like this. I mean mm -hmm. it always happened in, in mm -hmm. border earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this took place in the disputed area, right? Yeah, of course it's this on both sides claim sovereignty over there. Uh -huh. How close is it to that uh, controversial would this century? Well, it's in only two or three kilometers only. Mm -hmm. Actually mm -hmm. we can say stay because uh Cambodia two station very close to the temple. I mean but Kel Siki Kila Sika Kila something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's strange the timing because for Minister uh, Kasit Pirom is in mm -hmm. Phnom Penh mm -hmm. meeting the Cambodian uh, Foreign Minister, mm -hmm. and uh, even the general. All of a sudden, this uh, happened. <laughs> it's uh, very strange. Well, it's uh, just he just said that they are good in good relation. <laughs> yes. Have a meeting of the Joint Commission in Siam where people flying to Phnom Penh. Yeah. And they just have a, a press conference that mm -hmm. oh, we are in good relation. So yeah. he loved it. Immediately after that work, I mean, it's, it's, it's very amazing. Yeah. yeah, and we knew we knew about the uh, the arrest of the five Thai troops from the uh, from the reporters uh, who are with Kasit in Cambodia. Oh, the news broke from there. Uh -huh. The arrest, and then uh, the the Thai media just picked it up, and then the army confirmed it. Well, it seemed to me like uh, the Cambodian authority really well prepared for that. I just received a phone call about three o'clock and mm -hmm. saying that relative they say that well there is some cancer can fire in the area. Uh -huh. But just shortly after that there a news by report from Nom Peng quoting official saying that we confirmed there's a fighting in the border. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think it's really a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. noticeable. So as we are speaking now, the army is preparing to have a news conference on this and uh, uh Sutep, the deputy prime minister said he has been informed but uh, no immediately action from him. Still unclear, you know, what sparked that exchange of artillery fire because uh, this morning I was listening to the second army commander, General uh, Udom Chai. Udom oh, Chai. Udom Chai, uh, yeah, and he was uh, talking peace. He was saying, no, we have to understand that we 
The other side also has face and we shouldn't try to put too much pressure on it. On the border side, we have been on good terms, we've been talking mm -hmm. to each other and all this, but suddenly they started firing. Do you think it's a conspiracy or mm -hmm. it's just a well, coincidence or yeah, it's a mistake? No, I think something, something might be happening uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in preparation because mm -hmm. uh, we know that the city and its team, they would mm -hmm. force in the area for days yeah. earlier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pressure in the government house by now. So I think it's it's not by accident. Some, something looking very unusual. Well, one very is, unusual. one one conspiracy theory, and immediately after the report was received, was that maybe someone tried to start a war, you know, a local war, to invite um, outsiders to come in to negotiate. Maybe this issue might be brought up in the UN or a regional body that would, you know, come in and settle the border issue. Well, I think that's my speculation. Yeah, every possible. <laughs> it might be also a ticket for the local politics as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we shall see what happens next because the situation is quite volatile and we will keep you abreast you know, day by day.